to good guys. We're going to discuss. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Rams Tutorial Educational Channel. If you are new here to my channel, please don't forget to hit the notification bell icon and click the bell button so that you're updated in our latest tutorial. Today, guys, we're going to discuss about different topics. Welcome back again to Rams Tutorial. Our topics are using personal pronoun. I, you, he, she, and it. Objectives. First is to identify personal pronouns. Second, to use the correct personal pronouns in a sentence. A personal pronoun, remember my dear viewers, it takes the place of nouns in sentences. Again, our objectives to identify personal pronouns which is I, you, he, she, or it. And we are going to use also the correct personal pronouns and how are we going to apply it in a different sentences because right after this, we have our short activity regarding our topic about how we're going to execute or how we're going to use personal pronouns. Here are the functions and uses of each personal pronoun. I, my dear viewers, it replaces the name of the speaker. So, for example, I am um, G. My name is Ram. So, I am going to execute my name Ram. So, I am a tutor. I am a teacher like that. So, so the word I replaces the name of the speaker. So, it's very useful, my dear viewers. You replaces the name of the person spoken to example okay you talking to your friends so you can see it you are my friend you are my best friend and you are what you call a trusted friend ever so again you replaces the name of the person spoken to he my dear viewers replaces the name of a boy or it refers to the name of a boy or a man example he is kevin he is mark he is ram he is Carlos, like that. So it replaces the name of Kevin, Carlos, like that. Again, it replaces the name of a boy or a man. She replaces the name of a girl or a woman. So for example, she is Test. She is Marika. She is Carla, or like that. So that's the uses or functions of the personal pronoun she. Next, it. It means replaces the name of a thing or it might be replaces the name of an animal. Examples, it is a tree. Okay? It is a book. It is a chair. So for animal, it is a dog, a cat, a penguin, tiger, like that. So it refers to that. Again, personal pronouns are I, you, he, she, or it. I, again, replaces the name of the speaker. You replaces the name of the person spoken to. He replaces the name of a boy or a man. She replaces the name of a girl or a woman. It replaces the name of a thing or an animal. Did you understand, my dear viewers? It's very clear the functions and uses of each personal pronouns on how we're going to execute or use it in a sentence. Now let's proceed for our activity. Our activities goes like this class. Remember our activity will give you five minutes to think your answer. So for example, your teacher see it right, I, you, he, she, or it. Meaning to say these are the personal pronouns that you are going to apply it or execute in the following sentences. So, for example, the first one is that Blanc is Aunt Jane. So, for example, class, why I choose she? So, I choose she and I underline it and emphasize it the red color so that it's easier for you to emphasize the right answer. Why I choose she? It's wrong. I choose she just because it refers to Aunt Jane, which is Aunt Jane, is refers to a girl or a woman. And that is the most appropriate or suitable 
personal pronoun that we are going to apply them are is it. Second, it is a table. Why we choose it? We choose it, major verse, because table is a thing. Right? So we choose it. We can choose he or she like that. Next, Blanc and Dr. Cruz. So he is what you call uh, saying that he is a Dr. Cruz. But instead of he, we're going to use I because the verb is am. I am Dr. Cruz. And that is the most appropriate personal pronoun that exactly what is or how we're going to use it in the sentence. Next, Blanc is Mang Elmar or Mang Canor, Mang Marcos, like that. So actually, we are going to think of it, oh, Mang Elmar, so he's a boy. So we're going to choose he because he, remember, refers to a boy or a man. Right, my dear viewers? So it's quietly very clear our discussion and very interesting, my dear viewers, on how to choose the right personal pronouns in the following sentences. Next, Blanc is a dog chair it might be a cat it might be like that yeah but it refers to animals so you are going to choose automatically class it why it refers to an animals next sent next sentence blank are my partner okay so we choose you it just because r is a plural verb or a special verb so we can choose i so automatically class the right personal pronoun is the word you you are my partner okay so now it's correct so we're going to read it again she is an jane it is a table i am dr cruz he is mong elmar it is a dog you are my partner again she refers to a girl or a woman it refers to a thing or an animal okay so that's already the following function and uses of each. Next activity, my dear viewers, is we're going to underline the correct pronoun. So for example, number one sentence, we have fear sentences, class, I think, thing sentences. My name is Darren Cruz. Choices are he, I study at San Gabriel Elementary School. So since we're referring to Darren Cruz, so chair, why don't we use he? Because class, the next verb is study. So we can he study at San Gabriel Elementary School. My name is Darren Cruz. So you are going to introduce yourself where you study. So we choose it. The most appropriate one. It's quite a confusing class, but you need to think and read the sentence carefully. Again, my name is Darren Cruz. I study at San Gabriel Elementary School. And that's absolutely correct sentence. And correct chooses a personal pronoun next mr edward Cornetta is my science teacher so we're going to or referring to our science teacher which is mr edward Cornetta, and we knew that edward Cornetta is a boy so we chose he we underlined the word he is a very lively teacher when you say it class lively teacher it's what you call energetic teacher and convincing to us my dear viewers okay so that we can fall asleep excuse me for a while next a wrinkle in time is my favorite book okay i put a quotation mark of the word a wrinkle in time these are the title of a book your favorite book so we choose it and we underline it in a red color and emphasize it at with a red color class because book is refers to a thing so we choose it is interesting isn't that major viewers hope you understand Janet likes science too. He, she likes to read about different animals. We choose she because we know that class that Janet is a girl. So instead of Janet, we use that in place of that noun. She likes to read about different animals. One day, Mr. Conator brought a pet to school. Blanc, it, he, she is a spider. Since Mr. Conecta emphasizes that he brought a pet to school. Pet means it's an animal. So we choose automatically class. We don't choose he or she. But we choose it. Why? Because spider class belongs to an animal, right? Okay, let us read. 
our answers are all correct. Hope you like it, my dear viewers. My name is Jaring Cruz. I studied Sangerwell Elementary School. You like it? Mr. Edward Gunnett is my science teacher. He is very lively teacher. Correct. Our uncle on time is my favorite book. It is interesting. Oh. Janet likes science too. She likes to read about different animals. One day, Mr. Gunnett brought a pet to school. It is a spider. Next class. Next worksheet activity. I eat. Play different musical instrument. My guitar and my keyboard are my favorite. Why we choose I? We choose I class because musical instruments belong for a thing. That's why we choose I. Next, my flute was given by my mother. He, she also plays the flute. Why we choose she? Because it refers to mother, which is referring to a girl or a woman. Okay? Next, my uncle gave me a violin. Oh, I like the violin. You, it is very expensive. So we choose it just because referring to a violin, which is referring to a thing. Next, choices. He or she will teach me how to play it next month. Why we choose he? Because he is refers to a boy or a man. Next, my father does not play any musical instrument. He, she, just enjoys listening to us play musical instrument. And why we choose he? Again, my dear viewers, because it refers to father. Father is a boy or a man. Hope, my dear viewers, if you are new here to my channel, Rums Tutorial Educational Channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe to your Subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share it to your friends or relatives or loved ones. Once again, thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching again.